Uh, greetings, fellow grade tens. It's Mr. Hlajoy here. Welcome to Back to Basics. What is it that you are looking at today? I want us to look at our November 2021 paper. I think it is still from the Gauteng province, right? Now, and we are looking at the Euclidean geometry part. Now, they say in the sketch, RSTQ is a parallelogram with RS parallel to QT and also QR parallel to TS. Now, what is it that you are going to do now from here? So we want to prove that our angle V2, right? Our angle V2 is equal to 90 degrees. So what is it that you are going to do to prove that our angle V2 is equal to 90 degrees? Where can we start, right? Now, in order for us to do that, we can literally just start here. We know that our RTQ, right? Uh, we know that... Wait. Uh, now... We already know that our RQT, if we can look at our RQT, right? You can you see that our angle R, where it's going to be, this is R, uh, this is going to be Q and T, right? Plus our angle what? Plus our angle this one, our angle QTS. Can you see our angle QTS? QRTS. Right, it's a course on another 80 degrees. Why? This is going to be core interior angles. These are going to be core interior angles. Why are these core interior angles? Because what? Because your side what? Because your RQ, uh, your RQ is parallel to S2, right? So we are saying these angles here, right? These angles here, they are core interior angles, right? So which means basically we are saying x plus x plus y plus y is equal to 180 degrees isn't it so then which means we are saying from here your 2x plus your 2y is equal to 180 degrees you are going to take out 2 as a common factor you are left with x plus y is equal to 180 degrees and then you are going to divide by 2 on this side divide by 2 on this side which means x plus y is going to be give you what 90 degrees are we fine right so this x plus y is going to give you 90 degrees but let's say now i am saying now look let's say i say now my angle q what my angle q2 plus my angle what uh t1 plus my v2 this must also give me 108 degrees. This is going to be sum of what? Sum of angles in a triangle, right? So which means here, uh, this is going to be what? Uh, this is going to be x plus y plus your what? Plus your v2 is going to be equal to 108 degrees. But we already noted that your x plus y is equal to 90 degrees, right? So which means this is going to be 90 degrees plus v2 is equal to 180 degrees so which means your v2 is going to be called 180 degrees subtract 90 degrees which is same as 90 degrees oh it's okay then that's basically going to be that particular angle right so we have proven that our v2 is going to be called 90 degrees now from here what else can we do uh we are saying from here your what uh, your RS, they want us to prove that your RS is two times RQ. Your RS, this is going to be your RS, right? Your RS, this particular line is two times what? Is two times your RQ, right? This line over here. So how can we go about proving this? Uh, now, where are we going to even start, right? So... Uh, now, in order for us to start, we are going to say, look, for our 7.2, we are going to start by saying, look, we already acknowledge that our angle V1, our angle V1 is going to be equal to X, right? Why are we saying that? Because can you see that they are from, they are alternating angles, right? V1 is going to be equal to X. This is going to be alternating angles because your RS is parallel to your QT. Understood, right? And also, we now note that your RQ, your RQ is also equal to your what? Is also equal to your what? Uh, your RV, 
Why are you saying that? Remember, if this is X and this is X, which means these sides are going to be equal to each other, right? This is going to be sides opposite equal angles. Side opposite equal angles. All together. So now, uh, therefore, what is it that you're going to uh, say from here? Again, we can say, look, our RQ, right? Uh, our RQ is equal to ST. Our RQ is also equal to our ST. Right? What does this uh basically means now? Uh, so this is going to be uh, opposite what opposite sides of a parallelogram. This is opposite uh opposite sides of a palm. Right? This is opposite sides of a palm. We are saying this side is already equal to this side. I will take care because we know that these are opposite sides of a palm. Now, what else can we also do from here? Look, if I can say, look, my angle V3 is going to be close to what? Is going to be close to my angle T1, which means they are equal to Y, right? So, which means my angle V3 now here is going to be close to my angle T1, which is they are equal to Y, Y. These are going to be alternating angles. And why are these angles going to be alternating? Because RS again uh, is parallel to QS, uh, to QT. Now, from here, what is it that you, go, you are going to do? Which means now you are going to say, look, our what? Uh, now, from here, your VS, right? So, which means your VS, uh, your side VS is going to be close to your ST, right? Uh, remember, if this is your X, which means your VS uh, here is going to be close to your ST, uh, they are equal to Y, right? How to get? Then now that's going to be that this is going to be sides opposite equal angles. Side opposite equal what? Equal angles. Then now what else then are you then going to do? Which means now our R what? Our R, uh, our R uh, Q, right? Remember that your R Q was given. That is going to be cause what? Our R Q is equal to our R V, right? RQ is given. That is equal to our R V. So which means now from here, our vs right our vs is equals to our rq remember we've already proven that our vs here our vs is going to be close to our r what our rq which is going to be close to our rv all together right which is going to be close to our rv so basically all these uh sides are equal remember that one is proven which means now if i look my side rs because already i have noted that this side is equal to this side which is equal to this side and which is going to be close to this side which means our rv therefore uh now our r what our rs therefore is going to be close to what our side rs is going to be same as 2 r what 2 rq all together to rq why are you saying that remember because your rq is equals to s uh rv right and is also equals to what vs which means this angle uh this side is same as this side so which means i can still just represent all these sides the same way as they are how to get so basically that is going to be that particular angle hopefully this makes sense now and uh now let's look at the other question right uh, now, let's look at uh, 8.1. In this particular question, they want us to prove midpoint theorem, right? How can we go about proving midpoint theorem? We are going to start by construction, right? So this particular thing, basically, it we are going to say, we are going to construct a site here, right? We are going to construct or extend this line in such a way that this site here, Right, this side here is going to be equal to this particular side, right? And now we are also going to join it here, right? So we can mention, or rather, we can name this line our what? Our P. Then now, what else then are we going to do? Which means we are going to say, uh, we are going to construct, uh, right? We are going to construct. So we are going to say we are constructing, right? Uh, we are going to construct. Uh, what a uh, NP NP which is going to be cost to what which is going to be cost to a uh, MN right so basically that is going to be that now uh, now from here what else then are you going to do now that we've 
uh, done that, I want us to do this. I want us to mention that this is going to be one, this is going to be two, right? So what is it that I want you to take note? Look, our angle N1 is going to be close to our angle N2. What is going to be the reason that this is going to be vertically, right? These are going to be vertically opposite angles, right? Then those are going to be those are going to be the reason. Why what else are we uh, also taking note of? We are also taking note of that you know what? Uh, remember, we are trying to prove actually here when we are doing this, we are seeking to prove congruency between what? Between the two triangles, between triangle your N. This is going to be a triangle M N R uh, A, right? This is going to be in your triangle M. And A and also triangle what and also this are uh, newly defined triangle NPC NPC right so that's the reason why we are saying that right now after that now that we've proven that this angle is equal to this angle what else can you do you are going to prove that your A N your A N is going to be equal to what is going to be equal to your what your A C Right, your A N is going to be equal to what? Uh your A N is going to be equal to your N C. Uh this is N C. Yes, A N is equal to N C. That one it is given, right? So basically, we are saying these sides is equal to this side. That one is already given. Now, so which means therefore we can then now conclude that look, our triangle M N A. Uh, is going to be congruent to triangle what to triangle and pc and what have we used uh here uh what have we used here basically we have used what we have used your side angle side right that's basically what we have used here now from here what is it that you can conclude you can conclude that your ma right you can conclude that your ma here this side this particular side now is going to be equal to what? It is going to be called your side CP. Uh, this is going to be because of what congruent triangles. Uh, now, and what else now can we conclude? We can conclude that our MP is going to be called to BC, right? And also, uh, what? And also that our MB and that our MB can you see that our MB is a cause what our MB is going to be cause to PC, right? Is going to be cause to PC, right? And then now from here, what is it that you can conclude? You are going to conclude that uh, your what? Your MPCB is going to be your what is a palm, right? Uh, as soon as you have concluded that this particular thing now is going to be your palm, right? Your M, right? Your M P C B is going to be a part your palm. Why are you saying this is going to be your palm? Because this is going to what? Uh, this is because of what? Uh, both pair of opposite sides are equal, right? Both pair of opposite sides are equal. Then now, what is it that you can also now conclude from here? Then now you can also conclude that uh, now are uh, your M N is going to be parallel to your what to your pc now that you have proven that this is your what this is your parallelogram now you're going to say this is going to be parallel to that oh it's okay then now that's going to be your conclusion because of what and your conclusion that you're going to write because of our uh, opposite sides are uh, of what of a midpoint theorem oh it's okay or opposite sides are uh, of a what of your palm oh it's okay this is going to be opposite sides of your palm are what are parallel that's basically going to be your reason hopefully this now makes sense to you i know this looks complicated but it's definitely not oh 8.2 they say in triangle pqr triangle pqr uh, your qt is equal to tu which is equal to up your qs is equal to sr and also your v your UV is given by X. What is it that you are going to do? They say they want you to determine the length of VR in terms of X, right? Now, let's see. What is it that we can do now from here to try and, uh, you know, determine that particular side? Let's start here. I want you to have an understanding that 
if you can start looking at our TS, right? This TS. Uh, TS is parallel to what? To UR. Can you see that? Or rather, TS is going to be parallel to UR. Yes. What is going to be the reason behind that? TS is going to be parallel to UR. The reason because of what? It's going to be because of midpoint theorem. Why are we saying midpoint theorem? Remember, since they've given us that this side is equal to this side, right? Uh, and also this side, and also these two sides are equal to this side, then that's going to be what? That's going to be uh, the reason for midpoint. Remember that we are saying midpoint theorem stated that if you draw an, uh, what? a line parallel to the third side of a triangle, it's going to cut the two sides into equal halves, right? All right, let's get uh or it's going to cut the two sides in what in proportion then now what is it that you're going to also do i want you to have an understanding that your ur right your ur is going to be equal to now twice ts can you see that your ur is going to be two times what ts that's going to be still what uh this is going to be your what your midpoint theorem right uh, midpoint theorem again midpoint and now what else are uh, now can we note which means we can note that if this is your what if this is your x right so your site ts right remember that you've already given that your what uh your ur your ur is going to be equal to what uh now what is that you already know we know that our ts right we know that our TS is going to be equal to 2X. If you look at our TS is going to be equal to 2X, right? Because of midpoint theorem of this particular small triangle. Can you see that, right? Because if this is X, this therefore is going to be 2X if you're just focusing on that. Now, what is it that we already know from here? Which means now we are going to say, look, our UR... Our UR is going to be, remember we said it's 2 times TS, which means it's going to be 2. Where there is TS, we substitute what? We substitute 2X, which means this is going to be same as what? 4X, that's going to be your UR, right? Your UR is going to be equal to 4X. Then now, what is it that you can uh, take note of what? Of UR, right? UR is given by what? Your UR length is equal to what? Is equal to same as what? Uh, for you to get your UR, your UR is same as your what? Uh, is same as your UV plus what? Plus your VR, right? It's UV plus your what? Your VR. So now what is that then you are going to do? For you to get your VR, already know that your, U, uh, your UR is given by what? Is given by 4X. So which means this is going to be 4X is equal to your UV is X. Uh, this is going to be plus UR. So when you take this one, this is going to be 3X uh, is equal to UR. Okay. So basically that is going to be uh, that particular question. And now you have successfully expressed your, what, your VR in terms of X. Hopefully this makes sense to you. And thank you very much.